Good morning. Today we invite you to start your day with our sea turtle conservation program supervisor named Lindsay. So first I'm going to ask her, how long have you been in this position? Good morning, everyone. Uh, I've been in this position for two years now. So do you have to have a bachelor's degree to be in your position? And if so, where did you go to school? Um, to be in this kind of position, yes, you do need to have a four-year degree, a bachelor's degree. I went to the University of South Florida uh, to get my bachelor's degree and my master's degree. Great. Thank you. So while you were in school, were there any clubs or programs that you were in that really helped you to learn more about the field and get into this field? And what is your degree in? Uh, my bachelor's degree is in biology with a marine biology concentration. My master's degree is in marine science. Um, while I didn't have an opportunity to partake in any clubs or other activities as an undergraduate because I had jobs, um, I did try to volunteer actually at Clearwater Marine Aquarium while I was still an undergraduate. Um, and that really helped me gain the experience that I needed uh, to move on to my graduate degree. Okay, so is there any other degrees that you would recommend for going into this field um, that you might want to share? And then what courses did you find most beneficial to real life situations here? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, so my favorite classes were um, marine biology, of course, um, marine botany, and environmental science and policy. Um, what you choose to do in school is, depends on what you want to do. So if you want to um, get a position at a zoo or aquarium, uh, you might want to focus on getting um, experience, internships, while you get your uh, bachelor's degree. If you want something more in the realm of conservation or research, you might want to consider getting a graduate degree because that really helps you move forward in that field. So you've talked a little bit about that you volunteered here um, at the aquarium. Can you tell us a little bit about the importance of interning and volunteering um, to be in this field and about your volunteer experience? I would say that volunteering and interning is very important in this field. Um, I always suggest um, to interns that do come to our program to continue uh, uh, involving themselves in other intern opportunities and that's what's going to really uh, allow you to be diverse in the field and more likely to help you get a job. Um, I started volunteering here uh, many years ago back in 2007 um, and I stayed here for about a year um, before I went to go get my graduate degree um, and that really helped me gain an understanding of what I can expect in a staff position. So I really recommend that if you can't afford to do an internship that you try and do a volunteer position as often as you can while you're still in school. That was some great advice. So what does a day in your life look like and what are your hours like? Um, my day is quite long. Um, what I'm responsible for here at the aquarium is I monitor, uh, along with the rest of my team, about 21 miles of beach habitat here in Pinellas County uh, for a sea turtle nesting activity. We monitor those beaches from April 15th through October 31st every year, and we are monitoring for uh, evidence that sea turtles came ashore overnight. Um, so you can imagine uh, that our days are quite long long. Um, depending on how many activities we see each day, we can be out there for anywhere from six to eight hours. And then we have to log all of the data that we collect out in the field in our computers in our office. So they're quite long. They can be challenging, but they're also very rewarding. That sounds like a pretty early job for, for me, but do you have a favorite part of your job? And can you share maybe a special moment in your career that you really uh, look upon or something that you look fondly on? Um, I think my 
my most treasured moments um, in my job are anytime I get to see a nesting uh, turtle or a hatchling turtle. Anytime I get to op- see, have an opportunity to see an animal out in the wild doing what they naturally do um, and knowing that I get to be a part of that is very rewarding. Um, but something I also get to be a part of is um, sometimes uh, hatchlings uh, need a little bit of help. Uh, sometimes they might be a little bit tired or dehydrated so we'll bring them back to the aquarium for a little bit of rehabilitation and when they are ready to be released um, we don't always release them on the beach environment because they may not have the energy that they need to swim out into the the big ocean so sometimes we take them to the big ocean ourselves and I got an opportunity to do that several years ago Um, I took about 16 hatchlings 94 miles out into the Gulf of Mexico took us five and a half hours to get there It was a long day. Uh, It was the most blue water I've ever seen in my life. Um, And to be able to release those hatchlings directly into the sargassum weed line, which is uh, where they grow up the first few years of their life, was really cool. Well, that sounds like a really amazing experience. And a lot of what you've talked about has been about animals. But can you tell me a little bit about what your work is with people? So in this job, we actually do have quite a bit of interaction with people. Our goal is to educate people on why we're out there and what we're doing so they can help us help the turtles. Uh, So being out on the beach, a lot of people uh, like to enjoy the beach when they're able to. Um, And we try and tell people about uh, nesting. The fact that sea turtles even nest on our beaches is um, something that not everyone knows. Uh, So we tell them what they can expect to see and um, let them know that they should stay away from animals that they see out in the wild because it is uh, against state and federal regulations to interact with them, but also to remind them to help save their habitat. Things like knocking down sandcastles and filling in holes really helps our sea turtle populations nest successfully because our adult females can get stuck in those holes or get stuck on those sandcastles, and our hatchlings, which are only a few inches long, can really get stuck in those holes. So by asking the public to help us uh, fill in holes and knocking down sandcastles, it helps us all help them. Great. So do you have any advice for an aspiring marine biologist or someone who would be looking to do something like you are um, helping out the sea turtles and the hatchlings on the beach? Um, I would say work hard. Um, This job is hard and it's challenging, um, but it's also really rewarding. So I would say get involved as early as you can. Start volunteering. Um, This job starts with an unpaid position. So be willing to volunteer, be willing to intern, and eventually you will get involved in this field if you work hard enough. So that was some great advice. And lastly, I'm just going to ask if you can tell us a little bit about what's to your side here. Since we can't go out on the beach today, this is our best representation of what a sea turtle nest would be. So if you could tell us just a little bit about what we're seeing here or what you would see on the beach. So part of our job uh, with the Sea Turtle Conservation Program is marking off uh, nest sites. So when we uh, come upon a nesting activity on the beach, we want to mark it off in a way that lets people know, hey, there are sea turtle eggs here. Uh, Please avoid this area. So um, when we are able to enjoy the beach again, uh, if you happen to see a, a marking system like this, a series of wood stakes with bright yellow signs indicating that it's a sea turtle nest, uh, that tells us that there is indeed a nest here and to please um, stay away, um, what, view from afar, um, and if you see anybody um, potentially interacting with it or harassing uh, sea turtles or um, their their marked area. We always encourage people to call the FWC Wildlife Alert Hotline because that will allow us to protect them. Well, thank you so much for all of your information today and for joining us, Lindsay. And thank you all for tuning in this morning. We'll hope to see you next time.